Here's how you fix a Blue Yeti microphone if Windows is not installing the driver by itself properly. Um, the issue that you will likely run into is that, um, my bad for not being straight to the point, here we go, let's fucking go. Uh, you want to find the device in your device manager, as the other tutorial said, but instead of letting Windows install the driver by itself, you will use the generic driver that is already within Windows to install the drive yourself because Windows is not doing it correctly. So it will either be in Universal Serial Bus Controllers or it will be under uh, other devices. It was under under devices for me, but it seems to be most commonly under Universal Serial Bus Controllers for other people. And then you want to click on the device that is not working, which is the Blue Yeti microphone. I'm using this as an example. And then you want to pick from a list of available drivers on your computer. You do not go to audio inputs as outputs, as you would assume. You go all the way down to sound and video game controllers, which is right here. And you want to go to next. And then generic USB audio. There's no Logitech here. Don't look for it. And do USB audio device. And then after you install it, it will now show up under sound, video, and game controllers. And it will no longer say Blue Yeti microphone, and it will say Yeti stereo microphone. And that is how you fix that issue, um, especially if Windows is not installing the drivers despite you uninstalling the device and unpl unplugging it back in or restarting your computer. That will waste your time. This is a much quicker and more effective method rather than relying on Windows to install the right driver. Coming from a Linux issue from a Linux user, this is the best way to fix this issue.